As we gaze into the endless stretch of space, the sight of countless stars scattered across the sky sparks a timeless question. Are we truly alone in the universe? Now, a powerful new tool is helping us search for that answer, the James Webb Space Telescope. This incredible machine is like a cosmic magnifying glass, revealing things we've never seen before and pushing the limits of our understanding. Recently, it turned its gaze toward a distant planet known as K218b, and what it found has scientists around the world buzzing with excitement. K218b is no ordinary planet. It's located in a far-off solar system, about 120 light-years away, and it's shown signs that may point to something astonishing, the potential for life. When astronomers examined the planet's atmosphere, they detected water vapor, and more intriguingly, a chemical that on Earth is produced only by living organisms. Could this be the first clue that life exists beyond our world? Let's dive deeper into what makes K218b so fascinating. This planet is what scientists call a super-Earth, bigger than our own world, yet smaller than Neptune. It falls into a rare category known as sub-Neptunes, a type of planet we don't even have in our own solar system, which makes studying it even more challenging. What makes K218b especially interesting is that it lies in the habitable zone of its star. That means it's in just the right spot, not too hot and not too cold, for liquid water to potentially exist. The star it orbits is a red dwarf called K218. It gives off less energy than our sun, so the planet has to orbit much closer to receive enough warmth. A year on K218b lasts only 13 Earth days, but the planet's surface may still have mild enough temperatures to support oceans or clouds. And thanks to Webb's powerful sensors, researchers were able to detect water vapor in its atmosphere, an incredibly significant discovery. Where there's water, there could be life. But it doesn't stop there. Scientists also discovered methane and carbon dioxide, both important atmospheric gases. Methane is especially interesting because it tends to break down quickly in space environments, meaning something must be replenishing it. The biggest surprise? A possible detection of dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, DMS is only made by living creatures, especially tiny marine life in the oceans. If this molecule is truly present in K218b's atmosphere, it could mean we've just found the first hint of biological activity beyond Earth. This is especially puzzling because red dwarf stars like K218 typically send out intense radiation, often stripping nearby planets of their atmospheres. But K218b appears to be holding onto its air, raising hope that conditions there might be more stable than expected. It might have a hydrogen-rich atmosphere that helps trap heat and keep oceans warm enough for life to thrive, though possibly warmer than Earth. In 2021, Astrophysicist Dr. Niku Madhusudan introduced a fascinating concept that could forever alter the way we search for life beyond Earth. He proposed a new class of exoplanets, worlds that didn't fit neatly into the categories we'd previously imagined. These were not rocky like Earth, nor gas giants like Jupiter. Instead, they were something in between. He called them, Hycian worlds. The name combines two words, hydrogen, and ocean. These planets, according to his theory, would have vast, global oceans beneath hydrogen-rich atmospheres. And despite their alien environments, they might offer some of the best chances for finding life in the universe. One of the most promising candidates for such a world? A mysterious exoplanet called K218b. K218b is a super-Earth, about 2.6 times the radius of our planet and nearly 9 times as massive. It's too big to be Earth-like but too small to be a gas giant. This in-between size places it squarely in the sub-Neptune category, and its characteristics suggest it may be exactly the kind of Hycian world Dr. Madhusudan envisioned. These Hycian planets can be up to 10 times the mass of Earth and may possess atmospheric pressures and temperatures that, while extreme by human standards, still allow for the presence of liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. Temperatures on these worlds might reach 200 degrees Celsius, but the thick hydrogen atmospheres could trap heat in a way that maintains stable conditions deep beneath the clouds, especially in oceans shielded from harmful radiation. And here's where it gets exciting. 
Because these planets are larger and have dense atmospheres, they're easier to study with current space telescopes than smaller Earth-like planets. That makes them ideal targets in the search for extraterrestrial life. To investigate K218b's potential, scientists turned to one of humanity's most advanced tools, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Using a powerful method known as transit spectroscopy, they observed the planet as it passed in front of its host star. This event, called a transit, causes the starlight to filter through the planet's atmosphere, if it has one. Molecules in that atmosphere absorb certain wavelengths of light, creating unique patterns, like chemical fingerprints. By breaking down this light into its components, scientists can detect the specific molecules that make up the planet's atmosphere. It's an incredibly precise technique, allowing researchers to read the chemical makeup of a world light years away, without ever setting foot on it. The results were surprising. Webb detected water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane, all of which are important building blocks for life-supporting environments. But what truly caught the scientific community's attention was something more unusual, possible signs of dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, DMS is produced exclusively by living organisms, especially microscopic plankton in the ocean. There is no known non-biological process that produces DMS in significant quantities. If this molecule truly exists in K218b's atmosphere, even in trace amounts, it could represent the first serious evidence of biological activity beyond Earth. However, caution is essential. One detection is not enough to confirm life. Scientists will need to perform many more observations, cross-checking, refining, and ruling out all other possibilities. The road to certainty is long. But even so, K218b has already become a landmark in the search for life. It shows that habitable environments may exist not only on Earth-like planets, but on worlds radically different, worlds we once overlooked.